For decades, Toyota's hybrid engine has been the benchmark for efficiency. But Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor, operating at 97% energy efficiency and capable of 20,000 RPM, is redefining what modern engineering can do. With lower losses, higher durability, and performance that rivals supercars, it may signal the end of the hybrid era. The question now is, can Toyota keep up? Let's dive right in. For decades, Toyota's hybrid engine has represented balance, part gas, part electric, the safe path toward a cleaner future. But balance can't last forever. As the world races toward full electrification, Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor doesn't just challenge the hybrid concept, it threatens to end it. What we're witnessing isn't just a competition between two engines, but a collision between two ideologies, evolution versus revolution. Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor first appeared in 2021 inside the Model S Plaid, and it quietly marked a historic leap. Instead of using traditional steel, Tesla engineers reinforced the motor's rotor with carbon fiber layers, each wound at extreme tension. This innovation solves a decades-old problem. When metal rotors spin too fast, they expand and deform. Carbon fiber doesn't. It holds shape even at 20,000 revolutions per minute, speeds once thought impossible. That change alone pushed Tesla's motor efficiency to 97% a figure no gasoline or hybrid engine has ever reached. Nearly all the energy drawn from the battery turns directly into motion, not wasted heat. To put that in perspective, Toyota's hybrid averages 75 to 80% efficiency, while combustion engines rarely exceed 40%. And there's more. The same carbon rotor design is being studied by SpaceX, for use in electric propulsion systems, proving the tech isn't theoretical. It's already shaping cross-industry innovation. This isn't marketing hype. It's a demonstration of how deep Tesla's engineering runs. A motor built not just for speed, but for endurance, simplicity, and scalability. Toyota's hybrid, built on the legendary 2.5-liter Atkinson cycle engine, has earned its reputation for reliability. It uses two electric motors, one to drive, one to charge, orchestrated through a complex planetary gear set. It's efficient, clever, and proven over two decades. But the same complexity that made it brilliant in 2004 now makes it fragile in 2026. At city speeds, hybrids shine. The small battery handles stop-and-go traffic with ease. But once you hit the highway, the weakness appears. To maintain momentum, the gasoline engine must run constantly, often reaching 200 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit, wasting energy through heat. In those conditions, only about 25% of the fuel's energy actually moves the car. The rest is lost. Meanwhile, Tesla's motor, with its carbon shell and low thermal expansion, runs steady at 140 degrees Fahrenheit, even after hours of driving. No friction wear, no energy bleed. The result? Consistent power and longer real-world range. So yes, Toyota's hybrid still performs well, but its edge fades exactly where Tesla's advantage grows. Let's talk about how these systems feel. Tesla's motor doesn't need time to switch modes. The instant you press the pedal, 670 horsepower and 1,400 newton meters of torque explode through all four wheels, instantly available. That's why the Cybertruck with this motor outran a Lamborghini Huracan in short sprints. There's no waiting, no lag, just seamless acceleration. In contrast, Toyota's hybrid takes 7 to 8 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour. Still respectable, but the delay during its transition from electric to gas makes the response inconsistent. 
Drivers describe it as hesitant. That's the nature of compromise. Smooth, but never pure. Tesla removed the compromise. By eliminating transmissions, clutches, and exhaust systems, it built something brutally direct. The car becomes an extension of your foot, not a machine negotiating with itself. Here's where many get confused. On paper, Toyota's hybrid can travel up to 550 miles on a full tank, slightly more than Tesla's 500-mile average. But numbers on paper don't tell the full story. In highway conditions, hybrids lose 10 to 15 percent of their efficiency due to heat and fuel conversion loss. Real-world range often drops to around 420 to 450 miles. Tesla's motor maintains nearly all of its rated range even under stress. At constant highway speeds of 70 to 80 miles per hour, range drops only 8 to 10 percent, meaning around 480 to 500 miles remain usable. That's the real-world difference. The carbon-wrapped rotor doesn't just perform better, it stays better. Even after long drives, the motor retains its cool efficiency while the hybrid system slowly eats into its own potential. Over an 800-mile trip, a Toyota hybrid would refuel twice. A Tesla? One recharge, and that single stop costs less than a sandwich. Cost has always been Toyota's strongest argument. A Camry hybrid starts around $35,000, while Tesla's plaid cars easily pass $60,000. But the equation is shifting. In 2026, Tesla plans to integrate the carbon-wrapped motor into the upcoming Model 2, a compact EV priced under $25,000. By simplifying the motor's design and reducing rare materials, Tesla is slashing manufacturing costs to under $1,000 per unit, roughly the cost of a flagship smartphone. And that's where the real disruption happens. The average American spends about $900 per year on fuel for a hybrid. Tesla owners? Around $300 per year in electricity. Even less for those who charge at home. Add in maintenance. Toyota hybrids still require oil changes, spark plugs, and valve checks. Roughly $350 to $400 annually. Tesla's maintenance? Practically zero. A battery inspection every two years, maybe $80. That's it. In total, Tesla's annual running cost is one-third that of a hybrid. Over five years, the difference becomes staggering. And with global oil volatility, wars, OPEC cuts and sanctions, gasoline prices will only climb. Electricity, especially solar-sourced, will only drop. It's not just cost efficiency anymore. It's economic survival. The deeper you go, the clearer it gets. Complexity is the enemy of reliability. Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor has only two moving parts, the rotor and stator. No pistons, no valves, no timing belts. Every piece is designed to last the life of the car. Toyota's hybrid, though simpler than pure gas engines, still has hundreds of moving parts. Combustion components, cooling systems, gear couplers. Each one introduces potential failure points. Internal reports show that over 150,000 miles, Toyota hybrids experience a 60% higher rate of mechanical wear compared to Tesla's carbon motors. And while Toyota offers excellent warranty coverage, maintenance costs pile up. A $1,200 repair here, a $900 replacement there, over time, the cheaper car becomes more expensive to own. Tesla's advantage is structural. It's not just about electricity. It's about design philosophy. Fewer parts, fewer problems, and performance that actually improves through software updates. This is the same philosophy that let the Model S Plaid hit record track times years after launch. Because its motors kept getting better through code not wrenches. This battle isn't just technical. It's symbolic. Toyota's hybrid stands for caution. 
a safe, measured step into the future. Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor stands for boldness, a clean break from the past. One says, let's wait until the world is ready. The other says, we'll make the world ready. Yet, there's no denying Toyota's contributions. For millions of families, hybrids offered affordability and dependability when EVS were out of reach. But that era is ending. Once Tesla's carbon motor reaches mass scale in the Model 2, the cost argument collapses. The hybrid's complexity, once its advantage, becomes its burden. And when you consider the bigger picture, global emissions targets, battery recycling progress, renewable power grids, full electrification isn't a trend. It's inevitable. By 2026, we'll witness something bigger than a product launch. It'll be a shift in dominance. Tesla will roll out the Model 2 with the carbon-wrapped motor at a sub $25,000 price point. Toyota will counter with upgraded hybrids and solid-state battery prototypes. But history suggests momentum favors disruption, not adaptation. When the iPhone appeared, BlackBerry said people still preferred buttons. When Netflix rose, Blockbuster said people still wanted DVDs. Now, Toyota says people still need gasoline. Maybe they're right for a while. But once the economics and performance align, habits change fast. That's the twist most analysts miss. This isn't Tesla versus Toyota. It's Tesla versus time. And time, so far, is on Tesla's side. And this is exactly why Tesla's carbon-wrapped motor isn't just a new engine. It's a signal that the age of hybrid compromise is ending. When efficiency reaches 97%, when maintenance drops near zero, and when electric power becomes cheaper than gasoline, the entire industry has to change. This is the moment it starts. What happens next will shape not only the cars we drive, but the future of clean energy and space propulsion itself. So, what do you think? Can Toyota catch up, or is this Tesla's decade to dominate? Share your thoughts below. If you found value in this breakdown, like the video, drop a comment and subscribe to Tech Revolution for more real, data-driven insights into the tech shaping tomorrow. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell you won't want to miss what's coming next. This is Tech Revolution, where technology meets the future.